Hey there, welcome to Tag. Today we're changing the spark plugs in a 2010 Toyota Price. And uh, what the problem with the Price is uh, it's flawed, as we all know. Because uh, it's not a sports car, not a manual. Uh, another problem is, is uh, due to the wisdom of all car manufacturers, they want to make it as difficult as possible for you to do the most basic of job. That, oh, you don't want to work on your car, so let's make it difficult for you to do it anyways. You know, that's uh, just how they do it. So we have to take that out, and uh, then we also need to get the coils out and the spark plugs. Normally you need a 16 millimeter spark plug tool, or you can just use a 16 millimeter wrench and a little adapter I got with the magnet. I'll show you how to do that. Really cheap and simple there. And I got my ratchet set, and uh, I believe up here is a 13 millimeter for taking out our uh, windshield wiper assembly here, you know. And then this plastic ship moves, of course, because there's always plastic shit. You're also gonna need some anti-seize and some boot grease if you uh, wanna put boot grease on there, but not necessary necessarily unless you have a really old car, then I'd suggest the boot grease. I don't even use them on my new car because I replace my coils every about 50,000 miles. And I have my extra tools just in case, you know, your pliers and stuff like that, just in case you need it. And probably some tens to get the coils out. So the most important tool though that we have uh, is a burr. You know, you can't do auto work uh, here in Wisconsin unless you uh, got a beer. It's important to have your beer breaks, you know. So yeah, so let's get going on this Toyota Prius uh, and uh, let's get her done. A pretty wash. Look at that right there. Whoa. Tag. You're it. All right, so let's put our beer down on the floor, right down the, underneath the car, that way we don't wreck it. And I'm gonna take the anti-seize, put it to the side too, because I want to lose that. So we need the anti-seize for the spark plugs, so that way they don't seize in there and get them out later. And I did have a tub of anti-seize, but somebody, I don't know who, left it in their garage after they used it. Well, you know what? So uh, let's start with the assembly here of this, because this isn't a badass, uh, simple sports car. So it's a 14 millimeter, we gotta remove the whole windshield wiper assembly. I know it's a really flawed design there, but uh, in their ultimate wisdom, that's how they did it. They just don't want you working on the car. You're like, oh no you don't. And you gotta kinda hold the windshield wiper down or else you're gonna make the whole motor move. But they come off super simple as you see. Uh, my suggestion is so you don't lose them, put them somewhere safe. Normally I put them in the tray here, but that whole thing's gonna be removed. So I'm gonna set them inside my ratchet set. And then you gotta remove this right here, and that's where the other tools might come in handy. Because uh, they got a little uh, protector on there. So I'm gonna take my cotter pin tool. You take your cotter pin tool or a flathead screwdriver, whichever you have available at the time, and you kind of pull that out. Again, set it in your ratchet set so you don't lose it. And it uh, looks like this is a 14 as well. Pull that down so it doesn't move. And they come off really easy. Uh, obviously this car is well maintained. Well, my, my dad, so you know. And now we have to take out this whole assembly. There we go. One wiper off. I don't remember if this one is harder or easier. Ah, easier, apparently. That one's off. Now, uh, the nice thing about this system is uh, when you put them back on, you just gotta try to make sure you line them up right, because that whole screw thing, that's what holds it in. So the rest of it's kind of uh, plastic pull-off parts. Um, pulls off like Legos, as my brother always says there. Doesn't mean it's gonna pull off easily, it just means that's how it pulls off. There are pinches that you can pinch underneath, but uh, varying degree success. So that's popped off the front there. Well, it looks like we gotta clear the power steering there. Okay, and those pop off. Now you have these uh, plastic side pieces, they have a tendency to kind of fall off because they're just held in by the pinch. So you're gonna grab them, make sure you don't lose them. And uh, when you put the thing back in, make sure you put these plastic size pieces. You might need a buddy to help hold them in while you put that plastic crap back in there. So, you got the plastic crap out. Now, we have this whole assembly right here to get off. It's a bare hooting and a half, I'm not gonna lie. And it's no fun to do. I don't know why they designed it that way, they just did. So we have uh, screws on many a spots. I mean, it's just screw heaven here. Let's get to it. All right, let's do the wiring first. I gotta have my cotter pin tool here. Okay, so we took all the stupid snappy things off. Now we just gotta push the tab underneath here. Pull this off. Now our uh, windshield wiper assembly is off. Now I wanna keep all this in, whatever we can keep in. 
you just want to take off the whole bracket itself because there's no point in taking all that off and it's going to stay there anyways so you want to figure out what parts are part of the bracket and what parts aren't it looks like what we take off here is uh we got to undo that part and that's just going to float there we undo these right here because a lot of this is just going to float because there's a whole, uh, little rubber thing over here it's like a brace that comes off and then we can start taking the rest of these parts off so this under tray comes out now this might be away in a little bit but we'll have to just make do with what it is and get it out as we go so let's get going that appears to be a 10 mil to me i'll take my adapter here get our 10 mil out where's my 10 mil eh. that off you see already this is taking forever just to replace a stupid spark plug I tell you it's a terrible design someone's like hey there I got an idea yeah 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 you know that cool windshield wipe we got in the Priuses yeah yeah, yeah. why don't we uh, bring it out further okay okay I'm listening and uh, make it so uh, you can't change spark plugs oh how you change spark plugs? you gotta take the whole thing up oh okay okay uh just make us more money oh hell yeah oh let's do that let's do that yeah yeah let's do that yep yep Okay, sounds good. Okay. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. Right there, so now that we have all those out, it wasn't too difficult. You just slide that uh, rubber thing out. It's like a, a brace or a strut to let the vibrations happen. That's nice, I had to make that really easy. That's kind of good. So you take that out, and now we have this whole under tray to go. Now you don't have to do the back brackets, you only have to do the main stuff. So since that's the task force, we have to do that. Gotta do that. You can see we lost, already lost a bolt there. This bolt. This bolt. That bolt. That bolt back there. That one right there. That one right there. There's just a ton of them. And you gotta make sure you grab the ones that are actually attached they are important. Because there's a lot of them and not all of them are important to take out. Okay, so I changed my mind about some screws. I actually took out this one. Uh, that one, that one, that one, that one. Uh, these two back here, because it's actually easier to take this as a whole bracket. And that one, that one, that one, and that one back there. So I took all those out. Now the hard part getting this out is this uh, super plastic chip. Now it is actually kind of important, the super plastic chip. It helps with the uh, function of your uh, water drain down there, you know? So you can remove it somehow. I really don't know how. So it does kind of do that. You got these clips that fold down. And that's, uh, I'm assuming, to aid in pulling it out. Okay, there we go. Now it's there. Okay, alrighty. Now we got the whole assembly out. It's kind of nice that they have those flaps come down. I'm assuming they can't have their mechanic guys doing too much work, you know. Alright, so now you just gotta take off this plastic thing. Look at all that shit you gotta take off just to get to the spark plugs, you know. Okay, so all I get thought, we got 10 millimeters here. And we simply take those off. Okay, now, uh, nice thing about these newer cards, you know exactly where each one goes because they make it impossible not to. So you just uh, take uh, each one out. And these coils look pretty good. Most modern coils will last uh, a long time. At least 200 to 300,000 miles nowadays. And now I gotta get to our spark plugs. So here's the little nifty trick I got here. You take off your 10 mil. Don't lose your 10 mil. So the tool I got is I got a basic uh, 16 millimeter socket, which uh, gets uh, pretty much all your uh, most modern spark plugs out, you know. And I got a little magnet here, see? And once I undo them, I use this magnet to eat the spark plug out. Yeah. And I never lose the magnet because it's a magnet. So if I put it in my uh, fancy uh, makeup bag here at my tools, uh, always steal your girlfriend's makeup bags because they're useless anyway. So I don't know what, they, what are they for, you know? Uh, you, you do that and you'll never lose it because the magnet will go on something. It always does. Okay, so uh, pop her down in there. Ooh, that's pretty far. Ooh, I have all my extensions in there. And, oh, oh, oh. Uh, it turns out, uh, due to again Toyota's infinite wisdom, uh, I need a 14 millimeter. Lucky enough, I have a 14 millimeter, and I tested it with the uh, other spark plug. 
the new ones. And I got uh, my brother's cheap non-locking extension. Let's uh, put it at this end, that way if it does fall off, I don't lose it. And uh, that very tight piece Something tells me the person who put this one on last didn't put anti seize on. This is bad. It surprised me because he always puts anti seize on because that's what he does. He's dead. That's his thing. But I don't know. Always use anti seize in your spark plugs. You will strip a, the thing in there and then you gotta put those snap rings in. Those snap rings are they're, they're useless, man. Just useless. They don't work. Now what I'm doing here is I'm working it because uh, it's not coming out easily. So it's nice, good to work it because if you work it, you're less likely to strip it out. And we don't want to strip it out. Working it helps get rid of all the gunk and stuff that's in there. Make get looser, come out easier. All right, if you got WD-40, in my case, BR Blaster, blast it down in there because don't ever rush this. It's better to uh, well, it's better to, to lubricate than break. Take a beer break. Don't break your spark plug. There you go. That's a good one. Take a beer break. Don't break the engine. Ah, I like it. Yeah, yeah. Finally, she's gone. This one we had to use our beer break and our PBE blaster. And it uh, looks like she's finally coming out now. And we went back and forth, back and forth, tight and loose and tight and loose until finally it looks like she's out. Yep. All right, so now we use my little trick. You know there? Little trick pulled everything up. So here's my little trick. So you take your magnet, pop it into your socket, and voila. We got a little PBR PB blaster. Actually, these don't look terrible, but you can see they're uh, a little burnt on the tops. Let's see. A little. A little burnt. You can see the burnt, the scorchy marks right there on the top there. And how small, like you can look at a brand new one here, and you'll see uh, how small the tip has gotten. See the size difference in the tip? The tip has physically shrinken. You can see that. So improperly gapped when you're doing that. Affects fuel economy, affects performance, affects everything. All right, take them all out. Magnet's still in there. Put your magnet out. And I uh, uh, put your new ones in. Now this is uh, the part where uh, having anti-seize is important. And it'd be important if you're, uh, someone didn't take your anti-seize. So you get your anti-seize opened up. And this is uh, the ghetto way of anti-seizing. And you take your uh, new spark plugs. A new one right there, right here. Take a new spark plug, and you put a pretty liberal amount. I always kind of start from the top there, and I work it around, work it around. And uh, I usually have gloves when I do this. I don't have gloves, so it is. And I put a lot. Now a lot of people say don't overdo it, don't overdo it, but I say overdoing it makes it come out. And the worst that's going to happen is the anti seize will burn off. No, no, anti seize burn. Terrible. You're really working. Always make sure you even put at the base there. Get her in there. And since I don't have a spark plug tool, I uh, just gently put my finger down as far as possible. And give it a little drop. You should have a spark plug tool, though, so you don't have to do that. But you know, it's worked for me for uh, you know over 10 years, so obviously it works. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's what I always say, and uh, it works. All right, so you just do that to all of them. So we go one, two, three, four. We start on the passenger side and we move to the driver's side. So you tighten them down each one in that order. So that's good. Wee! Like you said, around and around and around we go. Oh no. Only the engine no. Just hand tight. You don't want to go too tight, you know? Could break it. Hand tight. 
Okay, job good and proud. All right, so uh, like I said before, it's easy to know which one of these goes in because they're all right next to it. So you just pop it into the right hole, not the wrong hole. Pop that one in. And if you want to put boot grease on, you can. But we didn't, and you can see it came out easy and comes on easy. Besides these uh, modern coils, they're really nice. I gotta say, it's a big plus with engines because the old stuff, I gotta replace, uh, I gotta replace those wires all the time. And this is just snug as well. Let's get it snug. There you go. All right. Now, technically, uh, the car will run like this, but uh, because um, Toyota is like every other car company. We have to put all the other bullshit in there because they're assholes. So let's do that. Assholes. This plastic shit's gotta go on. Pops in there. I think that's in. Yeah, I think so. I don't. I don't know. Thirty minute job, team. Well, Prius gods, thank you. Freaking hour. I'll let you watch. There. There. Hey, I just need an extra push. There, now I gotta put all the other bullshit in because it's bullshit, stupid ass card. You know, I need a beer. Drink it, drink a beer. Yeah, it's mine. Oh well. I don't know about this. I'm doing all the work, you know. There you go. No oh, well, you know what's over there? Alrighty. I gotta. Put all these bastards in. So I'll uh, put this simple thing in. I'll have to say the setup of this is quite amazing. Whoever came up with this definitely deserves a raise. Whoever came up with this bullshit though doesn't. Because that's just stupid. It deserves a demotion. They deserve a demotion. They gotta get fired. Screw the demotion. Just fired their ass. They don't deserve to work no more. As far as I'm concerned. So you put that rubber grommet in there. It's basically for vibrations. So right up in there. You just slide it in and start putting your screws in. Three in this one? There's just, uh, there's four. There's four? Yeah, four, four. One, two, three, and then four. So four in this one. And you, I just, you know, decided to throw it next to me, just so I have it prepared and ready. See? See, I threw that, that one there intentionally. It wasn't by accident at all. It's all intentional. Now, I'd finger tight them first, because you might have to adjust them, so don't get them too tight. So you can adjust this one, so you can make it all fit. Nice and good, dear. And there you go. And you got the last one over here. That one just screws in there. Oh, I love screwing. It's so fun to screw. Down. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. No. Tighten it down. See, she's not going nowhere. Now I gotta put this other plastic shit back on. Plastic shit. I don't understand what all this plastic shit's all about. My car doesn't have near the plastic shit. It doesn't need it. Because it's better. Because it's older. My car sucks. Oh, yeah. We got the stupid little things that I need a friend to help me with. Alright, so you got these dumb little tab thingies. Make sure you're on the right side. And they never stay in. Yeah, because they're probably broken. Probably because we broke them. Let's get it. All right now, we gotta snap all this bullshit in. This has to slide underneath the glass. I got this side slid. This side slid underneath the. Slid. Okay, now try to put that thing in. Well, I don't know if you can because it's, it's in the way now. Because not. Can you just slide it underneath and then? There you go, she's in there. All right, now I gotta do a lot of snap bullshit. Snap bullshit. Here's a snap bullshit. This one won't snap, I want the snap. Snap, damn it, snap, snap, snap. 
that one bent. Snap. Yeah, it feels like it's on. Good enough. I don't give a shit. Plastic piece of shit. All right, now you gotta put this whole assembly in. See, this is a lot of work just to change spark plugs. A lot of bloody work. I'm just saying, this is absolutely the stupidest shit in the world. I mean, it's a cool design, don't get me wrong. Now, you gotta make sure before you tighten these down, you line everything up, because this is only held in by these. Anyone know anything about windshield wipers? Know that the tightness of your damn bolts is what makes it where it is. So, Tristan might have to readjust this, I don't know. Now, I gotta switch this out again, because we need our, what was it, 14 millimeter, I think? Yeah. I think the car salon, I hear whistling. The oh, that's right, because you have uh, LED headlights. I don't think it's going anywhere. Well, Tristan will find out later. Piece of plastic crap. Oh damn, there you go. There's a, a 30 minute job that took us, uh, that took us uh, an hour and 45 minutes. Thank you, Toyota. That was a uh, good job on you. I'm Shane, that's Tristan over there. This has been a shit show and tag, you're, you're it. it. All right, test her out. All right, test her out. Uh, test her out. Test her out. <laughs> <laughs> that works. What the hell? What the hell? What work? Oh, I forgot to plug it in. Forgot to what? Uh, I forgot to plug her in. Oh no! Oh, forgot to plug done. her in. Jesus. Hey, I'm uh, I'm got uh, the mechanics thing. You know, the electronics are my thing.